here we are assembling next to the Kinopofia Kaulusens, which is endemic to the Malut Drakensberg Mountains. Lesotho is known as the Mountain Kingdom because it is the only nation entirely above 1,000 meters. It has little to no tree cover. Spun is working with scientists at the National University of Lesotho to sample mycorrhizal biodiversity across the country. Researchers believe fungi from high altitude wetlands of Lesotho are particularly important because they help wetlands store extraordinary amounts of carbon. These wetlands here, if they are conserved well, they, are, they make a contribution to climate change mitigation because they are carbon sinks. They sequester carbon, they store it when they are healthy. The moment they become degraded, they become carbon sources because the rates of decomposition become higher and therefore they begin to release the carbon into the atmosphere, therefore com contributing to climate change. Like most African nations, Lesotho is on the front line of climate change. Their extreme high altitude ecosystems are facing rapid warming and their valleys are facing intense soil erosion. When the livestock eat the grasses on the top, there's no roots, there's no fungi to hold the soil in place. Fungi are incredibly important in creating a sticky substance to hold the soil. But when that's gone, the soil just washes away. And that's what you see here in the Donga. Lesotho is prioritizing soil health as a way to mitigate climate risk and build resilient farming systems. Researchers believe it is crucial to understand what is happening below ground. So this is the point of the surface horizon, which is brownish. I like it. When it's brownish like this, this area has got a lot of organic matter. So the brownish color, in a situation where you have uh, this uh, organic matter, it is because of a highly decomposed organic matter in the surface soil. As part of Lesotho's commitment, scientists have initiated countrywide surveys to document the biodiversity of fungal communities in the soil. Scientists are collecting fungi in both natural ecosystems and agricultural ecosystems. Most farmers in Lesotho don't rely on chemical fertilizer. So we're very interested in understanding the mycorrhizal communities, the fungi that are, are powering these bean plants to grow big and healthy, all in the absence of chemical fertilizer. This is the richest soil. It's a moly soil. And we will have to test it in lab to find out which series it is. Once collected, the samples go to the National University of Lesotho. Here, researchers extract the fungal DNA from soil samples, then sequence the DNA to determine what species are in each sample. Soil is one of Lesotho's most important resources, but it's also disappearing. It is estimated that the country loses close to 40 million tons of soil every year. Loss of soil through erosion is worrying because over 70% of Lesotho people rely on agriculture for subsistence and income, so soils must be kept intact and healthy. Protecting underground ecosystems is important for agriculture, but also for water. The high altitude wetlands of Lesotho help provide clean water to Southern Africa. But the fungal communities in these ecosystems have yet to be documented. We're really excited about these high altitude wetlands because no fungi have ever been collected and recorded and geolocated at this spot. So we have no idea what we'll find.
documenting the unique underground life of Lesotho in farms and high altitude wetlands is becoming urgent. By systematically mapping the biodiversity of mycorrhizal communities, Lesotho is helping put soil at the center of conservation and climate agendas. And this is the highest pass in Lesotho, which is at 3,240 meters above sea level. Very fantastic and amazing. Uh, this is the last sample. Perfect day. It's really cold. It's really, really, really cold. 